What's up everybody? My name is Chris Reed and today we are continuing our tutorial series A to Z in Reason Studios. In this video, we are covering the synchronous effect. Synchronous is a time effect modulator. In short, you're able to affect many different parameters through its graphical input and with the added benefit of being aligned to a specific time rate. As always, let's jump into Reason so we can check out the synchronous timed effect modulator. I'm here in Reason where we have a track open to check out the synchronous timed effect modulator. Let's have a listen to the track. There are many synchronous devices added to the instruments of this track and as an added benefit, most of the sounds that are in this track are all Reason Stock Thor patches. Alright, so let's take a look at the synchronous time effect modulator. One of the best benefits of the synchronous device is its nice graphical open window display. So when it comes to using the synchronous, we definitely want to work our way from the top to the bottom. The first thing that we have is our tool window. And with the tool window, what we are able to do is pick different shapes that we can draw inside of the graphic display. When we draw in that shape, we also have the ability to sync it to a specific rate. For example, one over 64, very, very fast or one over one. Very, very slow. And we have all of these different rates that we can simply plug in. After you've drawn in your shape on the synchronous, you can also speed it up by two or keep it at the regular speed or you can make it go slower by putting it at half speed. Master offset just allows you to offset where the actual synchronous plays and this bar right here indicates at what point the modulation is happening. Phase allows you to move the shape offsetting it from a specific direction and that's useful in the event that you don't want the shape to start exactly where it is but you actually want to move it around there are some use cases for that i believe i use that in this beat as well depending on which of the three modulators that you are using the dim will allow you to see the other two modulations just so that you are able to see all of what is happening inside of the synchronous device you are greeted with three modulators and you are able to draw out different effects and draw out different parameters for each of those three modulations. So for example, we can use this yellow modulation and we can draw in a nice ramp like this. And then we are allowed to use our mod control to control what parameters are actually being affected by the shape that we have drawn. So if we want some distortion, then we can turn our yellow knob to the right. And the more that we turn it, the more distortion we will have. But remember, it's a timed effect modulator. This graph represents the amount that is being applied over time. At the beginning of this graph, it's not as much of the effect being applied. But once we get towards the end, there is a lot more of the effect being applied. So you can change the amount that's being applied, of course, through your mod control and as well as through the way that you create this graph. Different shapes will allow for different use cases. So let's take a listen for now. So we are using this sine wave in order to affect the filter amount that's being applied to this instrument. And if we want, we can actually change the rate and make it faster. And we can hear how that sounds. So 
So we have the option of choosing between the first, the second, and the third, and they are color coordinated with yellow, magenta, and a blue. And of course, we also on this other side of the graphic input, we also have this RFZ or freeze and we have a kill. And what kill does is kill just completely kills the modulation. And that's if you just don't want any modulation to be happening at all for sure. Or if you like need it to stop doing what it's doing, for example, with a delay or with the reverb, you just want it to stop. You can use this kill button and it will kill the graphic input. All right, so now let's get into some of the actual parameters that you can affect. There is a distortion, filter, delay, reverb, as well as a level knob and a master level and a dry wet that you can use to affect the actual instrument. I actually use the dry wet knob to change the overall effect of the synchronous on the main instrument in this track. So that's what it sounds like without the synchronous at all. And then when we add the synchronous in, we can also see what the automation is doing. Now on our distortion panel, we have two different distortions, a lo-fi and a ring modulator. So each of those will produce a different kind of sound. Let's hear what distortion one sounds like. Distortion two. Distortion three. Ring mod. So depending on how much amount you have and the character, it will also change the way that it sounds. And of course, what's cool about that is you have the ability to change the effect. You have the ability to change the character of that filter over time. And of course, you can actually automate the different parameters that are provided. So you can have your distortion off for one part of your song and then you can actually turn it on. Same thing for the rest of the actual effects. So next we have the filter. So these knobs right here are kind of like your start positions and the mod control just shows us where this graphical display comes into action. So, you know, you can have your frequency turned up and then you can turn your mod control down. Or you can do vice versa. And it's going to give you a different sound. Of course, with delay, we have, you know, the ability to keep the pitch, to have sync. We have ping pong. You have a roll for your feedback and you have panning. So you can pan and ping pong the sound to go left and right. If you want, you can have that. On the filter, we have a high pass filter. We have a low pass filter. We have a band pass filter and as well as a comb filter. So you can play around with those filters, the frequencies, the resonance, and you can actually get some cool sounds out of that as well. What's cool about Secretness is that Reason Studios has provided us with some really great patches to use with this device. So I am using the telegraphing Bremen patch on this sound, and that's how we're getting this sound. But they also have almost sidechain that we can put on there. Long sidechain. And just kind of gives you that instant automatic pumping feeling, you know, just to add it into your track. So 
so looking at this patch, for example, the only thing that's being applied is the level modulator control, and it's only being applied to the blue channel. Um, the yellow and pink channels have been killed, so they're not even being used at all. And it's really just this blue channel. And essentially what it's doing is it's adding in some level and then completely dropping the level out. And that's how we get that side chain effect that's happening in this patch. Normally, this is the full length of the pattern that can be manipulated. But there's this arrow here and you can drag this arrow so that less of the pattern is being affected or less of the pattern is being played through. So you can have the full pattern or you can pull it down if you just want a simpler pattern. You don't have to use all of these different steps. You can just use the first four steps like they are using here in the super long side chain patch. We are using the long side chain for our warm analog patch. Uh, for the base patch, the sign patch, we are using the super long side chain. And that just gives us this nice. Just gives us this nice pulsing, pumping bass uh, that we have there for this. We're using the repeat builder uh, as a nice little fun effect with these percussion sounds that we are having here. We are also using it here for uh, this effect. Um, so this intensify effect is actually pretty cool. We're only using it in the verse part of the track. It just makes that noise sweep just have a little bit more character. Synchronous is really cool for those quick and easy side chaining effects as well as repeat stutter effects and just overall adding in some flavor and character into your sounds. It is a really quick device to be able to use and apply to your instruments to get those quick effects and being able to draw in the modulation is an added benefit that just makes music making all the more easy, simple and fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are looking for more more tutorials in Reason 12 such as this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we are continuing our A to Z tutorial series and you do not want to miss our next video. With that being said, my name is Chris Reed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace.